It's a tough day on the force. Time to get back to the old home. Or, uh, whatever this is. There's a garbage bag. Trash bag. This is not my house. How did I get here? Another murder case, huh? Yeah, it looks like you've got a serial killer on your hands, Prado. Pardo? What kind of name is that? Sam Amo is the guy we found last week, message and all. I'm innocent. They forced me to do it. You're right. Haven't heard that before. The guy must be some kind of psycho. Huh? Creeps me out. Guess I'll make this. Press happy, you goddamn vultures. I know, right? Clichés. Seems like any buckets of blood before they even raise an eyebrow. This just seems a bit too standard. Ellipsis. No gory details. Ellipsis. God, ellipsis. The city shoe sure makes your skin thick, huh? My skin was bone thick, bro. Look at my fucking eyes. You guys found any clues? Not really. You got throat slit. Haven't found the murder weapon yet. Well, I would have expected something sharp. You do that. I'll head down to the station and get started on the paperwork. Alright, have a nice night, sir. Murder and all. <laughs> oh, so there's nothing really else to do in here, I don't think. So, I always find these steps a little confusing. I can get in any side. This is cool, I'm a big fan of this. The whole VHS kind of VCR motif. Especially that screen there. That brings back bad memories. <laughs> so this is the character I played as last. This guy has lethal throws. This is his phone, by the way. What a strange ringtone. Good day. This is Eric from Miami Auto Repairs. I'm calling to tell you that we have finished service. Hey, this. Never tell you about it, yeah? Swing on by. What's that? Northwest 12th Avenue, please, and pick. Hey, I'm talking. We guarantee you the best service in town. Click. God damn it. Expect my authority. <laughs> so, where this guy? I can't quite tell what that is on the front of him. Is it some kind of crazy? Is it? It's not his feet. What is that? Is it on his shirt? He's got like a green... A green tiny crab on his shirt. I don't know. Here we go, third scene, hard news. So this is the mission that I did last night and then I stopped. So we now have Jake who we're playing as, and we have Irvin who has a nail gun. Awesome. I think you unlock Irvin for doing this mission. So if I'm, if I'm correct, there's nothing on this first floor. Yeah, there's nothing. Then it gets real interesting. So this is a lot of glass windows here. You can shoot you through them as well, so you want to be real careful. So... Oh, kill him, dude. Don't fuck about with the fancy stuff. We need death here. We need death. Be not proud. Mighty and dreadful and all that. Careful of this window too. That's the guy who's dangerous. Then again, everybody's dangerous in my in uh, Hotline Miami because you you die so quick on these games. Oh, you see what I mean? Fuck! I knew he was coming. He still got me. I do prefer melee weapons for that kind. Of <gasps> that is a bad situation. Why did I do that? Very strange. It's the thing though, you want to go fast, that's what this game does to you, it makes you want to go fast, even though going fast is, I'm dead, is incredibly dangerous. I'm so impatient though, I'm a very impatient Hotline Miami player. It's the music, it gets me going, it makes me want to want to do bad things in a game world, of course. Don't arrest me FBI, I'm actually a very nice human being. That's you, you, you. Two shells left, and there's nobody in that room. Oh, bollocks! I thought it was a door! Fuck! I'm not paying attention. <laughs> I got murked, son. Uh oh. Ooh, the pellets. Did that kill his friend just then? 
Oh, did I knock it? I knocked it. Whoa, that dude was aware. What is happening? What is happening? He's going to get up him. Oh, no. Got him. Just in case. Just in time. I got my dirty wrench. Pick up the gun. Pick up the gun. I don't want a mystery. You shoot me. Pick it up. Pick up the gun. That fucking door is cock blocking me something fierce, dude. I'm out of bullets! What am I doing? Why did I do that? Oh my god! That was so bad! Oh wow. That dude had my number. Oh, I need to be careful because that door's way open. Oh, you got a knife. Door's open again. Surprise. This guy not got lethal throws? I thought he had lethal throws. That dude took a throw, dude. Oh, it must have been the door, maybe. Swinging back and forth. I can't believe I did what just what just went down. That was very disappointing. <laughs> In no bullets. Talk about epic failure. Get out of my face, son. Two shells. Two shells is enough to get a lot of stuff done. Need to be aware of uh, somebody's coming. Oh, I locked onto the wrong fucking guy. Yeah, that's the one of the problems with the lock on, but. Uh, we'll get used to it. You know, it, it does a really good job considering all this is happening at a very, very quick pace. What? How did that not kill both of them? You need to be careful of windows as well, because these guys, they're killers. So we're empty now, so we need to uh, remember that little fact. This has got 24 rounds in it. How the hell did I shoot 24 rounds? Did I get both of them? I did. See, just that dude. Oof, that was close. It wasn't close at all, actually, but we should have done that much quicker than we did. Anyhow, 24 bullets to do the next room, and then it's all blind from there, folks. We'll be figuring it out as we move. Is this one? Oh, yeah, it's this one, indeed. So, there we go. That's a lethal throw. Get their attention, lure them in, lethal throw them. There's a lot of guns down that corridor, a little unsettling. What we're gonna do is we're gonna. My gun's going through the wall, this shit's weird. There we go, is he gonna lure some people in? He didn't lure anybody in, shit. Okay, so. There's his reload if we need it. Before we mess with that, we want to mess with this. He saw me. Fuck! Oh my god! Uh oh! Oh! Oh, bollock! I should have thrown it, but then again, I, I would have panicked. Come here, dick. Enough of that. Knife is really good in that situation I was just in because meleeing, I'm much more confident with meleeing for obvious reasons. Hotline Miami for Christ's sake. Shit. And I'll do some. Okay. 
18 bullets should be enough. Oh, come on, bro, really? That is some fucking omniscience right there. Suppose I shouldn't have assumed he wouldn't see me. You can't assume anything with these games. Uh, they're very dangerous. Oh, my weapon hit the wall. Very sad. Surprise, crack face! <laughs> Gun's coming. Oh no, no gun. Don't shoot me, don't shoot me. Fucking. That guy's so dangerous, man. If only I had a dodge roll <laughs> that I don't like. No. Fuck, kill you, son. No, I'm not, no, I'm not. That dude on his knees there with like half his head missing, that's some sick stuff. Here it comes. Fuck! I, see what I mean? I thought I was covered by the table. Maybe not. He's not gonna get up, so I don't know what he's even trying to do. You wanna get nuts? Let's get nuts! So bad, but we're okay. <laughs> there we go. Whew. Finally, that one definitely kicked our ass a little bit. And that's the story of Hotline Miami. You're gonna die a lot, but. It never feels like it's a true punishment, it always feels like it's still fun, and that's why I love these games. It's, it's very Dark Souls in that nature, only it's not as punishing as Dark Souls, because you don't have to redo a bunch of bullshit. In this game, it's fast, it's hard, it's in your face, and I love it. So we beat the, the estimated score, or the level score, or whatever that means. What did we get, C plus again? Oh no, just C. Okay, 